So now we're going to combine two things, conditional probability and tree diagrams. And you've actually already done this in the past, you probably just haven't had it talked about in this particular way. All right, so jumping into a question, a particular school, 55% of the students are male, 45% are female, and then a bit of conditional probability. Of the male students, 13% say mathematics is their favorite subject, and the female students, 18% prefer mathematics. So I'm just gonna write a few things down here. Uh, the probability of being male in this school is uh, 0 0.55, and the probability of being female is um, 0 0.45. And then there's a couple of co um, conditional probabilities here. Of the male students, 13% say mathematics is their favorite subject. So the way that we write this is given that somebody's male, uh, the fact that maths is their favorite subject, I'll have to call maths T so I don't get confused. Uh, but, so T stands for mathematics. The probability that you enjoy mathematics given you are male is equal to 0 0.13. And the probability that um, you enjoy mathematics given you are female is uh, 0 0.18. All right, so there's our uh, four pieces of information. And we can use those four pieces of information to actually draw a tree diagram. So uh, let's take a look. So with a tree diagram and conditional probability, it's important that your first uh, choice, your first set of branches, is based on the given part of your um, equation. So this is given you're male and given that you're female. So our first choice in the tree diagram will be those choices. Male, female, and the probability of that happening, you've got a 0 0.55 chance of being male, and a 0 0.45 chance of being female. And then the conditional probabilities come next. So this next branch here and here is the probability that you enjoy maths, uh, enjoy maths, so that's the probability of T given that you're male, okay, because Male has already happened on this branch. So the probability that you enjoy it given you're a male is uh, 0 0.13. And now, because we know that, we can also find the probability that you um, don't enjoy maths given that you're male. So if you enjoy maths given you're male is 0 0.13, then the probability that you don't enjoy maths is uh, 0 0.87, the complement of 0 0.13. And of course, we can do the same down the bottom here. This is the probability that you enjoy maths given that you're female, and that's 0 0.18. And then the probability that you um, don't enjoy maths given that you're female is uh, 0 0.18. Point zero point eight two. All right, so there's a tree diagram. Probably the only difference here is that we're using these uh, conditional probabilities uh, to talk about our second branch. So given M happened, what's the probability that T happens? Given M happened, what's the probability T doesn't happen? Given F happens, what's the probability T happens? Given F happens, what's the probability T doesn't happen? So now that we've done our tree diagram, we can um, solve these two questions here. B, the probability that a student selected is female and does not prefer mathematics. Well, we can actually use what's called the multiplication rule, which is really just the conditional probability rule rearranged, which you've already seen. So I'm going to use this rule here, which is the probability of um, female and does not prefer mathematics, so the probability that you're female and uh, you do not prefer mathematics, so not mathematics, that's going to be equal to uh, the probability 
that you prefer you sorry don't like mathematics given your female times the probability that you're female um, and that's just a rearrangement of our conditional probability formula and it doesn't matter whether you do t dash f here or f uh, t dash which order these ones are in it's going to be t dash f here all right now this is just a standard tree diagram question it's called the multiplication rule you multiply by um, f so that's uh, 0 0.45 and you multiply by the branch we're interested in, um, female and doesn't like maths. That's 0 0.82. Okay, and you type that into your calculator, you get an answer. Uh, and that gives us uh, 0 0.369. So you choose a person at random, the probability that they're female and they hate maths is 0 0.369. The next bit, the overall percentage of students who prefer mathematics. So the probability uh, that you prefer mathematics. All right. So if you look at your tree diagram, which branches prefer mathematics? This branch and this branch. And again, we can use our multiplication rule. So we can say uh, we can find the probability of m t m by multiplying down that branch, 0.55 times 0 0.13 and that's going to give us the probability of that happening I'll just do a quick uh, calculation here times 0 0.13 and that's uh, 0 0.0715 but then I also want to know the probability of this one and I can add that on so I'm finding the probability of being t uh, enjoying maths and being male, and they're probably enjoying maths and being female, that's going to be 0 0.45 from here times 0 0.18. And we type that into our calculator. We get uh, 0 0.0.081. Now, if I add the two branches together, I'll find the probability, the total probability, uh, that you enjoy mathematics, uh, adding 0 0.00715. Okay, and I get uh, 0 0.1525. Okay, so the total probability across the school that a person picked at random would enjoy maths is 15%. A bit sad, but I guess that's how it is. All right, now, now this is stuff you've seen before, tree diagrams, but you need to be aware of this uh, new... Uh, notation to talk about the second branch being conditional upon the first branch and work through those questions.